Guys, Delu Laguna, YouTube's in Golo Kante. I'm back again. It's a quick one. There's actually not that much to say about this player. Do you guys remember Nasir Barazai? I hope I've said his name correctly. I believe he joined us from, is it, I can't say the rest of the team's name, but I'm pretty sure it's N N E C, one of them Dutch sides. He joined us at 17. He had a, he was always playing for the youth sides in, in regards to Holland's national team and things like that. Like I said, he joined us at 17. He's now 27. And he's playing for a Turkish team I can't even pronounce. I'm not even going to try and say that name. Like, let me try. No, I'm not even going to attempt that. That says it all. Earmarked for relative stardom. I mean, people weren't gassing him and saying you're going to be a mad star. But he was for relative success. He was a typical Arsenal player. I'm not going to go into it. But he had the typical qualities we look for in a player. The technical qualities. The vision. Being able to play with his feet. The confidence to be able to play. Long range, short range passing. He was a very good player, attacking base player, could play on the flanks mainly through the middle. Typical Arsenal player, like I've like I've just said, man. Like he was linked with a whole load of clubs before he came to us. He was linked to be a potential first team. I weren't no world class and that, but he was tipped for relative stardom, like I said. And twenty seven, I mean, yeah, twenty seven, ten years later, it hasn't happened. And his greatest highlights in his three appearances for Arsenal are bagging against Barnet in pre season. Somewhat a failed wonder kid. I don't want to say he's a failed wonder kid, but yeah, he had all, he had it all to be a baller, man. But it's just whether it was the competition, whether it was the injuries, maybe it's just damn right being unlucky. It just never happened for him, and he's currently playing in Turkey in the first division for a team I cannot say Malatasporu. Forgive me, I believe that's. I'll try my best. That's the team in it. You guys know I don't do this pronunciation thing too tough. No disrespect intended to the club or the supporters, but yeah, man. He, he floated around after leave. He went on loan to Derby. He had a decent loan spell at Derby, to be honest. And he came back. Then he went on the circuit again. He ended up at Aust in Austria playing for Vienna. He had a decent spell there. For me, his most successful time is a couple of years ago. I remember seeing in, always seeing in the Eredivisie highlights um him at Utrecht. He said he finally got his foot feet down on the floor and started playing. He went to Monaco. It didn't happen as well. He was at Monaco like 2012 or one of them, and it just didn't happen for him. And I've got his stats up here, man. Like I mean, for FC Utrecht, like I said, is his best. For, for me, was his best um, spell as a player, or certainly, certainly where people were taking notice of the man. Um, he played, made 92 appearances, 20 goals, 20 assists at Monaco. He only got 12 appearances at Vitesse, the, um, the team that's a feeder club essentially for Chelsea, where they farm all their players on loan. 11 appearances. Like I already said, Arsenal, three appearances. Vienna, 55, getting 24 goals. So, yeah, man, very much a journey, man, to a degree. He hasn't really sold. Oh, and again, to reiterate, today, current market, he plays for a Tur he plays in Turkey's first division. He was earmarked for stardom, like I said. He was prominent, for the, um, in particular, all of Hol Holland's national teams, but in particular, the under-19. So, he was someone that was there. I don't know why he didn't make it here. I don't know why it didn't happen for him here, but this is what it is, man. I believe he's... Decided to rep um, represent Monaco, I don't, Monaco, Morocco. I don't know if he's officially played for Morocco in any capacity, but I do know he switched his allegiance. But yeah, just a quick vid, man. It's just another case of a failed wonder kid. I don't even want to say failed wonder kid, but he was a player I really liked, man. And he, I wouldn't say he was going to be a madness or nothing, but he was a calm and smart player. And it was in my early days starting to look at players in regards to scouting and potential and them things. I've already told you how in 06. I wrote a letter after the World Cup suggesting players that Arsenal should sign. And they were nice enough to write to me. I know it wasn't Wenger, it was probably some PR thing. They sent me a whole bunch of pictures and stuff. But yeah, man, I'm going off topic. Just like I said, from for someone that was um, earmarked for relative success, um, at 17 years of age, he joined us, only made three appearances, and at 27 finds himself playing in the Turkish First Division. A far cry from what he was earmarked to be. But yeah, man, guys, to Ludicuno, I'm signing out, getting a comment, subscribe, do the rest of it.